Allison with Hambly, and for our make and take at CHA, we're going to be using a variety of our papers and overlays to make these fun flower rosette pins. So um, I already pre-cut everything using all of the Sizzix Tim Holtz dies. This is the paper rosette, and this is the tattered floral. So first, we will grab one of these little strips here. So this is one of the uh, paper rosettes. You take it. New accordion, fold the whole thing. So if you've ever made rosettes by hand, they take forever. This is such a quick way to make them. You can make a lot of them this way too. So once you have it folded, we're going to use some Zot lines. Put one on one side. And then put it around to the other side. You just want to make sure it's really tight in there. And then this is the little piece that goes on the back. So I'm just going to put some glue on there. I'm also using the lines right now, liquid adhesive works really well too, but for this show we thought that this is just so convenient to do it this way. So you're not really going to see this part because it's going to be just what holds everything together on the back here. Your little flower, we're going to turn it over and you just push it down and then you get your little rosette shape. And then you want to go ahead and make sure that's really on there with the glue because that's what's going to hold it together. So that's going to be the back side. And for the front side, we're going to use some of the tattered floral dies. And then I'm just going to cut this one a little bit deeper just so we can kind of fold it and give it a little bit more dimension in front. You can roll the flowers, you can pinch them, you can kind of do anything. It's just kind of a fun way to add more dimension to your flower. I have that one and then one more little piece in the middle. I'm just pinching the sides together just to add a little extra dimension. So those are going to be our little flowers here and this is um, just a little piece of foam core that I'm just going to use. It's just an easy way to punch all the holes on here. The fun thing is you can mix and match different papers. This is our overlays. It's a fun way to kind of play around with lots of different textures. And then I have, this is some jewelry pins here and then just some <laughs> pearl beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those together. And then we're gonna go from the front to the back and just kind of start layering all these flowers together here. And then these are just some jewelry players here. Oops, I'm gonna drop those. And then just rolling it. So this part's a little tricky, but it's a fun way to kind of put it together. So once it's rolled in a little ball, we have a little safety pin over here that we're going to put on the back and then you can wear your little flower or you can save it and scrapbook it with, with it for later. So, there you go. <laughs>